Show, Radio World. Showing some leg. We out here at the um, Conga Room once again. See, he changed his up. See, he can talk little, about me. Um, see. Guys out there dancing, uh, practicing for oh, look, he's sweating too, the he's little show in the little um, tight outfit. Uh-huh. Might be a little fruity up. swag going on in this motherfucker. I'm giving it a thumbs up. It's okay, little it's sweaty hurt. arms. Oh, that's right. Corey don't like skinny jeans. Might be some dookie in the front of the drawers. Anyway, everybody, welcome back. Yes, we are here. It be like that out here in L.A. I'm sorry. Whatever. Very fortunate to be here. Stereotypes. Uh, can you think of any? Are you guilty of believing or thinking that way towards your own race or other races? Hmm. Everybody's guilty of stereotypes. Of course, and you don't even know you do it, but it I just mean, happens. Yeah, you, just... you know, whenever I see um, women with big ankles, I know they're going to fall off one day. Wait, what? Girls with big ankles, they always gonna be they're gonna be them fat ladies in church with the um so I'm, gonna, so I'm gonna blow up, huh? You got big ankles? I got big ankles. Let me see your ankles. I never seen your ankles. Let me see. Oh, I'm looking at everybody. Your ankles are not big. Look, they can they don't even go to she an ankle. She just wanted to say that. No. She just wanted to say that. I, she wanted somebody to look at her ankles. Oh, oh I done oh, seen oh. some ankles look like they got honey buns under the skin. <laughs> yes, that's, well, I'm surprised you can see the ankle. You can't see the ankle with that Right, happens. you can't see the ankle. You see a leg with a foot under it. Okay, so what you're trying to say is a person with some big ankles is going to be fat. They're going to fall off. They're going to fall off. I know this girl, and she's like, um, she's young, though. She's like 22, mm-hmm. and she hasn't had any kids. And, you know, her claim to fame is her big old ass. Because she do got one of the big old horse asses, and guys like it because she bottom but heavy. But you could see that when she gets pregnant, she don't grow up. I see them ankles. I be like, boy, that baby going to come out your foot. That is so crazy. I've never heard of that. So that's my them real big ankles. I'm talking about the fat, juicy ankles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's All one right. of my stereotypes. Well, another stereotype, just silly ones that I can think of, is when you see people, well, then again, I don't know. I really believe this one. They can't dance. They don't have any rhythm. That's how they are in bed. If they can't dance? Yeah, they ain't got no rhythm. They ain't got no rhythm. She said no. Maybe Does sex have a rhythm? No, but it's the way when you look at somebody, but when you look at somebody and it's the way they're moving, you're like, ugh, what the hell? Like, it depends too on what song, but if they're not dancing right, it's like, oh my God, I can't even imagine her or him in bed. What the hell? <laughs> hey, I, fellas, do you hear this? They said if you can't dance, you can't fuck. <laughs> no, but the way you dance and says a lot. It's like, oh my God. What does it say? It's he said he's trying to hurry up and go fuck. This bullshit, I'm dancing <laughs> and shit. Hurry the fuck up. Well, you all I stiff. Your dance. back don't look right. I'm you off rhythm. It's this, you know, put this, it goes hand in hand. Ready to work this back on something else. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, you better put some bend in that damn back. Because I would say, if you look silly out there on the floor, to me, that's kind of just, it just says it all to me. Fellas, if you're out there and you don't dance right, darling. Darlene will judge you sexually by how you dance. I'd be like, bless Most accidents as a race. Can we look that up? Ooh, that's a good one. Look that up. I mean, you got the blacks, the whites, the Hispanics, the Asians. Mm -hmm. Who tear up the most shit? I know the insurance company. No, and that's another, that's that's an addition to that question. Who tears up the most? Who gets the most wrecks? And then second of all, who gets the most wrecks without proper insurance oh yeah no insurance Ooh. Uh, mexican brothers would be like i do not think you do something hey no, no they won't even that. they fuck won't even that. stop they would take off and them are my fuck, folks look they won't fuck. even stop they'll take they'll off they'll drive home literally back to mexico come back in a couple of weeks <laughs> oh yeah 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 hit somebody right. <laughs> fuck that fuck that but see that's another thing i own it like when somebody says a stereotype and if it's if it if, if they come from somewhere is my saying they do, they, they, I'm not saying that you're stereotyping everybody, but the stereotypes existed somehow because you've seen something or experienced something so often. You know what's a stereotype in my hood? Mexican girls get pregnant quick. No, or easily. <laughs> yeah, easily. Or easily. Yeah. Even. Yeah. Like when you, you sleep with a pregnant, uh, a Mexican girl, she gonna be pregnant. Well, that's because we, we, we do it young. In other words, we're okay with it. In other words, our, our family mentality, put it like this, when I passed... 20, they were looking at me like, oh, my God, something's wrong. Oh, you didn't have like, any babies? Yeah, I was like, no, we don't have the money yet. We're waiting. Oh, my God, what are you waiting for? It was like this whole thing. My grandma's looking at me strange. It's just culture. You know, they were looking at me like, 
You serious? You yeah. 20. This is ridiculous. I'm like, oh my God. Is like shit old working day. in there, girl? <laughs> Your goddamn oven broke? No. Yeah. So yeah. that is five seating <laughs> yeah. capacity. We'll fit some eight in there. Shit. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we have Bernard on the line already from Oklahoma. You're on, Bernard. Hello. Hey, nigga. Hey, man. First of all, I want to say, man, I look forward to you guys on Monday nights, man, because uh, mm. it's a damn shame that they don't replay y'all show through the week, but they can play them goofy motherfuckers on the Fox show and Jamie Fox show, and they can play that corny ass uh, uh, Cheryl Underwood show over and over again. But uh, on another note, I want to say, man, that... Uh, that's some real uh, shit. We appreciate that. We yeah, hope the people you. who are in charge of what shows get played here, the voice of the people. Mm-hmm. Thank you for that. Go ahead, man. That's no problem, man. I, I appreciate y'all. But uh, my, my little stereotype is men with black men with big feet got big dick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> man, we got niggas out here holding up their shoes. What size your shoe, Bernard? What size your shoe? Hey. No. And that's why I want to say that's bullshit. I went outside nine and I play a big stick, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga say he wear a size nine shoe. <laughs> no, he said he got big stick. He said he got a, oh, a big stick. Oh, okay. Well, I said stick. He okay. might have said something else. Yeah, that is a stereotype. Small feet. Uh, or big hands, too. They always say big hands. Somebody said, what What do you mean when they got big hands and big feet? I mean they're a clown. <laughs> 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 Thanks for that, Bernard. That is a good. That is true. Because yeah. I hear a lot of people saying that. Girl, look at his feet. I'm like, oh, please. You heard all that stuff about Shaq. <laughs> oh shit! Everybody <laughs> lied. I'm like, what the no, fuck is going heard, on? No, what, you, what did you hear? Word on the street. But the thing is, is word you, on the street. That means I that ain't claiming it. That means you never it. know. No, no, no. But word I'm on, repeating it. No, word on the street is just what you hear. Word on the street. You just be hearing some words. But he has even made fun of his own. He's clowned his own. His own. Thing. What do you mean? He's actually spoke about it before. What did he say? Well, I can't recall, but if you, maybe you can now. You say, you put Thank the witness you. out of the courtroom. Thank you. What did I just say? <laughs> Idiote. What did I just say? Idiote. Idiote. Uh, what did I just say? Word on the street. I, that means it's to, just kind of, mm, you know, out there. Some, Nobody said, good word is gone. Well, Nobody said, this is for show. Um, I said, word on the street, and that's exactly what that means. It could be true, it could be not. But I'm just saying, you've heard it a lot that he, he's got, you know, working with, he working with a little. Oh. oh, well. We can play Girl Talk by TLC, by the way, after this. Not really. <laughs> oh, you probably don't remember that one. Shaq, they fucking with you, man. It's Darlene starting rumors. No, I didn't start it. I just said word on the street. That's Come the get our ass. You retired. You got time. Oh, wait a minute. No, Shaq, with, he's spending time with his new lady, Hoops. They're engaged or they're married already, I think, huh? They're not, no, married. not married? I think ain't He do. shouldn't get married again, exactly. <laughs> Bless his heart. I think I'm playing that game. It. I think I ain't stupid. Yeah. <laughs> so look at Hoops. Uh, I mean, I'm down with this kicking shit, but uh, fuck that. Got too many kids. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Shoot your motherfucking ass out of here. Johnny come lately, yeah. We got... All right. You probably can put it down. They say um, girls would... Um, Big Cadillac cars, um, fuck drug dealers. What the? I'm just giving you stereotypes. Whenever you see a girl in a, in a big Cadillac, that bitch fucking a drug dealer. So it can't just be she hopped in her dad's car to get from point A to point B. No, her dad ain't come up like that, huh? <laughs> so there's another stereotype. That's right. Well, you're right. looking at somebody and you're saying, then it, okay. Well, well uh, this is another fucked up stereotype I got. Whenever you see uh, a black woman... With um, red hair getting out of a Mercedes Benz, you know, she took some nigga to court. Uh, you know what, <laughs> Corey? So what? She didn't buy that motherfucker. There ain't that much hair to do in this motherfucking state. Oh, we're talking before the show started, and, and I remember hearing this even when I was a, a little youngin'. And as I got older, I was like, that's so not true. Where did that stereotype come from? Why do they say this? Now, now where do they come from and why did they start? See, there's a reason. Because mm -hmm. maybe, like I said, repetition, because you've seen it so often or you've you know, experienced it so often that it came from that. So my thing that I kept hearing as I was growing up was, that, was that black men don't go down a lot. 
That's crazy. That's, that's a stereotype, crazy. right? They know exists. They know that that stereotype does exist. It's out there. You know it's, it. It's too. As you've many, never heard that. That 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 is Corey. a phony stereotype. Okay, but um, you've heard it. Men, right? Black men go down as much as any other race go down. Um, so then, why do why do the even brothers talk about having a problem doing that down there? They don't like it. You hear a lot. What of brothers people, say that? You do hear a lot of people express that, brothers. I will want, you know what? The girls who have problems with guys going down on them is probably that he just don't go down on them in particular. Right. So you think they started it? Because most guys eat pussy. I'm talking about men because we had this. You know, what happens is that buildup of wanting to fuck brings that want to eat pussy shit out you. you be, <laughs> it's like a savage act you do, goddammit. <laughs> Like, give me a, I want this shit so bad. I'm about to eat the But so you heard it, right? I'm not crazy, right? But you right. heard that you heard that, that 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 exists, right? That stereotype that that was thrown out there. I never heard it before. I just think it's ever, Corey. I think about 15 girls who you, don't know. You heard, right? That people say, right? Yeah, people would say that for a long time that that was a thing that they just didn't a lot or often. It was about they 15 like, girls right. who never get their pussy ate who started that rumor. <laughs> I'm wrong with that pussy. That pussy got um, some um, bad stuff running up out of it. That <laughs> make guys, they be wanting to go down, but they play it off like uh -huh. they're kissing your knee. <laughs> Motherfucker, keep going. <laughs> Motherfucker be going down, kissing your belly button, and he fly past your pussy. Something wrong with your pussy. That's funny. But that one, okay, so we do have a few people in the audience that agree with me that they've heard of it. I mean, or else I every man that, in this room has eaten. Pussy I don't agree before. with it, but I'm just saying it. It was that out is, there. Wait, it's, it's mainly black guys in here, but every man in here has eaten some pussy before. We're not gonna put you on the spot, I Billy. I see motherfuckers Billy's laughing. Like, really, like, really, we're not gonna. We're I not know gonna he ate some pussy. You know what? Like, <laughs> he ate some pussy before. That's the, that, that's insane to think he ain't ate no pussy. How else he gonna get some pussy? Oh, no, my. Just, no. oh my god. <laughs> Don't put him on the I'll line. I eat your pussy. No, you know what? <laughs> that's, that's part of Silly. It. We, yeah, we got, we got, ain't nobody saying shit. Black men do look like what it is. Black men are shy to admit they eat pussy. Why? What's wrong with that? I don't know. I guess it's some type of, I ain't eating no motherfucking pussy. Fuck that. My homeboy used to say that shit. Isn't that silly? That's and then, yeah. you know, mm. this girl bust him out. Like, yeah, you do, baby. All right. the room. That's no. why I'm going to stop letting you eat my pussy. We was like, I thought you ain't eat pussy, Sam. What's up, man? <laughs> I said his name. Uh-oh. Sam. Any, don't say his last name. Anyway, we got, <laughs> we got Ron on the line from North Carolina. Talk <laughs> silly. We, yeah, we, got, we got, ain't nobody saying shit. Black men do look like what it is. Black men are shy to admit yeah. they eat yeah. pussy. Why? What's wrong with that? I don't know. I guess it's some type of, I ain't eating no motherfucking pussy. Fuck that. My homeboy used to say that shit. Isn't that silly? That's and then, yeah. you know, mm. this girl bust him out. Like, yeah, you do, baby. All right. the room. That's no. why I'm going to stop letting you eat my pussy. We was like, I thought you ain't eat pussy, Sam. What's up, man? <laughs> I said his name. Fuck it. Uh-oh. You have the, uh, what are these? Ah, oh, we got it. We looked it up. All right. We asked earlier about most accident crashes, right, by race. Through This is through Wikipedia. All right, most accidents, most accident road. crashes by race. Uh, twenty. Up, shut up. Twenty-one percent white males. White males. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, African American males, twenty-four percent. Wait, say to start over again. Go with the statistic again, because I'm gonna say what happened when they crash. Go. Twenty-one percent white males. Fuck. African American males, twenty-four. Watch out, motherfucker. Native American males, forty-two. Don't kill me. You know what? <laughs> Wait. Asian males, 12%. Fuck are y'all? Me know like a you. <laughs> and Hispanic Just males. Just buy get out. And Hispanic males, 24. <laughs> you, you, I knew you lied. Hispanic. No. Look. Well, hi, Hispanic males, 24%. That's the highest account then. Is it? No. Yeah, African American that? males, 24.3. You guys got one point above us. Males, 24.2. We got more cars than y'all. Look here. <laughs> no, y'all didn't. Y'all didn't. Did, are those statistics correct? Did they go by trucks with lawnmowers in the back of them? You know what? That's hilarious. 
<laughs> that is a good one. That's true. Oh, Darlene didn't like that shit. She playing it off. Yeah, motherfucker. I have very funny, motherfucker. I own, I own it. I own it. But at least they're 